In the far north. If there's one thing the Oars can count on after four decades in the mountains, it's knowing that when the snows come, they almost always hit the Yak Valley harder than anywhere else. It's like a blizzard out there. All right, and more wood. Tom's sitting out the storm, but the work of a trapper never ends. Sean's arrived to run the line and bring in their catch before it's buried too deep. Hey. Hi, guys. Hey, Tom. Hey, good morning. I brought a visitor today. Oh, boy. You guys remember how Hank? How you doing, Hank? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, Hank. Yeah, this little guy had his day off, so I figured we'd put him to work or something. Yeah. <laughs> Nine-year-old Hanks inherited a budding interest in hunting and trapping from his dad. You want to put together a weasel box for catching a weasel in? Heck yeah. <laughs> the cedar box tricks the weasels by mimicking a burrow where its prey typically hides. We need a trap to go in it. Yeah, lots of traps in here. It's super cool. What traps do we need? This is what we need, I think. Once the trap is laid inside the box... Now let's go see if it'll work. Okay. It's baited, then set in place among rocks or fallen timbers, waiting for its quarry. What are you doing? We're gonna put a nail through here to hang your bait on. It's really neat to have somebody young like that that is interested. I mean, most kids, you know, they're doing their... whatever they call it. <laughs> telephones or whatever. You know, most kids don't even know what trapping is. And you can write your name on the box here and your address, and it'll be yours. Wouldn't that be neat to come back to this little trap and you got a great big old wolverine in there? Huh? That'd be cool. <laughs> you could see the excitement in him. You know, I mean, he was... He had his own box now with his own trap in it. He's ready to go set this trap. See we catch a weasel? Heck yeah. <laughs> Come on. To be successful at trapping, that's a learning process. You just don't go out and just set traps anywhere. Here's an old set of weasel tracks. Here's where his yeah, front foot it. hit, and here's where his back foot hit. Here's where his two feet hit, right? I think right there is good. Yep, I think so. There's tracks, like, right where we set it. So we're going to catch a weasel here, buddy. Right, see. We'll get one. It would just be cool to catch something. <laughs> well, should we slip back out of here? Yeah. He's just at that age, you know, we're trapping. Even a, a weasel or an ermine, you know, would be a, a big thing for that boy, you know. To remember it the rest of his life. Think that'll work? Yeah. We're betting on it, aren't we? Yep. The sun has just come up over Idaho's rugged Sawtooth Mountains. Poppy, come on, guys. And the Yorin brothers are already on the hunt. Good jump, mule. The day's mission track and chase a black bear that's become a threat to their herd of cattle. Harry and I just got our cow herd up to where we want it. It's sustainable, it's making money. I don't want to start losing all of our calves to bears killing them. We need to take care of that problem now. Yesterday, while driving the herd down from its mountain pasture for the winter. What the Our camp is tore up. A bear tore through their camp and provisions. That's a bear track. The cattle escape safe and sound, but if the brothers let a bear get too comfortable, they'll have a problem on their hands come spring. More than likely, that bear came into our camp again last night. This track should be fresh. Come here, guys. Their pack of five foxhounds are equipped with GPS collars and trained to track a scent until they corner their prey. We'll just turn the old dogs loose and let them see if they can start it. OK, I'll hold on to these guys until they get lined out. This country is really thick, makes it ideal for dogs. Dogs can run right up on a bear. It doesn't matter how thick it is. They can get close enough and put him up a tree or bay him up. They definitely hit the track. The dogs won't release the bear until Harry and Kid catch up and give the command. All right, go get him. Go get him. 
But in country too dense to navigate on horseback, they'll be on foot and have to move quickly to keep up. We're just going to stay with the dogs best we can, get this bear caught. We're on a hunt now. They're focused on catching that bear, and they'll run and run and run until they can anymore. And once again, it's Kid and Harry's job to try to keep up. Now, I kind of think I can go up this ridge right here, and then I'd be above them. Okay. Right now, the goal is to get one of us ahead of the bear, just to make him go up a tree or get a shot at him. Oh, why did I say that would go up? While Harry stays with the pack, Kid will try to cut them off at the pass. I can just kind of side hill over here. I should get on that point. I should be right above them. It says they're about 200 yards up here, and they're stopped. They should have something caught, or they got messed up, something. The dogs are trained to push their prey into a tree and bark nonstop until Kid and Harry catch up. Dog stopped that bear just like 400 yards down the hill. Hey, guys. You guys get him, huh? You guys get him? I make my way up the hill, come to this cliff point. Those dogs are just straight down below me. It's a straight drop off cliff. I can see dogs. I can see Harry. The one thing I'm not seeing is a bear. Harry! Yeah? What do we got down there? I can't see, but there's something in a rock hole. I'm coming down. OK. It looks like that bear might have crawled in a hole. Good dogs. Good puppy. Do you see him in there yet? I haven't seen him. Oh, man, that's a tight little hole, isn't it? Well, it's tight and goes back a long ways. Ooh, geez. Let me see if I can shim down in there a little ways and shine that light, see if I can see anything. It's never a good idea to confront a bear in a tight space. But the only way to know for sure if it's here, if I scream, pull me out, is to take a peek. Bear! Bear! <laughs> He's right there. Can you get a shot at him? I could hit him, but I don't, I don't know what we would do after I shot him. I don't want to just kill him and not be able to get him out of there. If we shoot this bear in this hole, we aren't going to be able to get him out. That's not something we do. Well, he's definitely in there, and I'm pretty positive that's that same bear. It's a big bear. I don't think he's going to come out anytime soon. I, I kind of say we just leave him. Like all good hunters, Harry and Kid will not kill an animal they can't harvest and use. All right, well, let's pull back out of here. Don't always get what you want. And since it's unlikely that the bear will reemerge anytime soon, they have no choice but to call off the hunt. Come on, dogs. We did push him a long ways back up the mountain right here, and um, I'm more worried about him next spring when we bring calves up. Come on, puppy dogs. I know you're tired. Come on. Hopefully, we can get out this spring and make a couple bear hunts before we even run our cows up here. Good dogs. You gave her a good shot. Come on, puppies. Let's head for home. 